Damn, this is just a plate of hot peppers. <laughs> These are shishito peppers. No, they're not. Why do you keep saying that? It will burn a hole in my stomach. Will I enjoy it on the way down? Oh yeah. What am I making today? Hi y'all, welcome to Flambe. My name is Yanni. Today we're gonna be making blistered serrano peppers with a creamy aioli dipping sauce. <laughs> This dish is so simple. It's less than five minutes in the making. It's a go-to for me. Everything's a go-to for me, I know. It's super yummy for like a movie snack. It's great for an I just worked out snack. It's also fabulous for an I have a dinner party in 20 minutes, none of the food is ready and these people will eat me alive snack. It's great for one, two, three. <laughs> Yes, full disclosure, this is my morning coffee. That's why I look decrepit. That's why I'm still getting my bearings and that's why my voice sounds like there's a frog in my throat. This is a serrano pepper. This is what it looks like. It's super cute, super green, super spicy. All right, here, here's the deal. I normally will make this with shishito peppers. Lately, I have not been able to find them around me. So I've been doing serranos and it's just as good. The uh, qualities of a serrano are like, it's a meaty sort of flesh. It's uh, bright it, and vegetal, and it has a really good amount of heat. It is more spicy than the shishito pepper, which I've normally done this with. The Scoville scale is how you measure spiciness in peppers. So shishito's down here, serranos are gonna be a little higher on the scale. You can cater this to your comfort with spice by getting a less spicy pepper. This is great, like across the board, with all peppers. Literally all peppers. You could do this with a bell pepper and it would be delicious. I wouldn't, but like you can, you know? <laughs> I guess we should just, I'll make the mayo. That's what I'll start with. Hold up, before we start, please go down, roast that like button. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. What are you doing? One room temperature egg in the bowl, whisk the damn thing. Was I supposed to save the egg white? Yes. Shit. I told you I'm still getting my bearings. Okay, let's go back. I'm starting with a cold egg, apparently. Separate the egg white from the egg yolk. Set the egg white aside. Make yourself a little egg white omelet for breakfast. I've done this with a cold egg before. And let me tell you, it makes it a lot harder for your oil and your egg to emulsify. Let's whisk and see if we can get it to room temp as quickly as possible. I'm gonna use olive oil for this. It's gonna be yellow. This mayo, that's fine, don't be worried. That's what I want. I like the olive oil flavor. If you want something more neutral, you can use a neutral flavored oil. Avocado oil, grapeseed, I mean literally whatever you want. This is a choose your own adventure sort of a dish. Whisk, 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 whisk. Full disclaimer, if you wanna use grocery store mayo, you are so welcome to do that. You know, if you have a dinner party in 20 minutes and you don't have any food ready, you're not gonna sit whipping your own mayo. That's fine. I'm just trying to do the mostest. Okay, this is kind of working. This is coming together nicely. It's getting a little thicker. As you move forward, you can add more and more oil, but you don't need to go a drop at a time. Also under the bowl, I put a damp towel under here. That way I can do this one-handed and not have to hold this in place. I can do other things like pick up my coffee and take a sip. Fried chili flakes, this is what's going in next. This is the shit. I'm gonna add like a teaspoon and a half. It's going to change the color, it's gonna be red. I love this stuff, I will put this in everything. It's not a spicy thing. It's just like garlic and it has MSG. It adds that, that thing in your mouth. You're like, mm, this is delicious. I'm going to add a touch of lime juice for some brightness. And honestly, a little bit of sriracha. I didn't put enough sriracha to overload my mouth with heat because at the end of the day, this dip is going to be the thing that eases some of that heat from the serrano pepper. Mm, it's good. It's missing something. Sesame oil like truly a drop and a little rice wine vinegar. I don't know, I, I want like, I need a little more acid. The lime is great, but it wasn't doing it for me. And a little more salt too. All right, let's see. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, that is it, that's a winner. Cause now we have different layers of acid. Done, let's move over to the stove. Get yourself a cast iron pan. We're going to blister these peppers. Like medium high heat, honestly. We want them to 
All right, this pan feels fairly hot. I'm going to throw in a neutral oil. I'm using grapeseed here. This is hot. This is already shimmering, this oil. That's when you know that these are good to go. Now, the qualities we want are like smoky and blistered. That means we can't overcrowd the pan. Don't stack them on top of one another. If your pan is too small, do it in batches. And at this point, I won't move them around too much. I want them to like get a nice browning on whatever side they're currently on before I flip. You see this nice browning? Like this is what we're going for. I mean, look at this gorgeous blister we're getting on them. Wee -wee -wee -wee. Little disclaimer, when you're handling spicy foods, hot peppers in particular, probably a good idea not to touch your eyeballs. I'm not saying that I've done this, but if I were to do it, if I were to rub my eyes after touching hot peppers, I'd probably have to wash them out with water and it would hurt. Who knows, shit happens, be safe. These peppers are going to snap, crackle, and pop while they're in the pan. Do not be stressed. It's just the steam trying to escape from the inside because it's building up, it's getting hotter, the gas is expanding, and it's gotta go somewhere. Safety measures like wear clothes. No naked cooking in my kitchen. Well, no, no I'm kidding. Well, no, I'm kidding. No naked, stop it. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh my goodness. And now we take them out. We plate this thingy. Oh, oh, last little bit. Very, very important. Get some flaky Maldon salt, like hit it at the end while it's still hot. You wanna do this now, V important. Okay, time to take a little taste test. Let's see how this is. First of all, the colors on this, the green pepper, the orangey red aioli, it looks beautiful. Mm. Mmm, oh my gosh. This is uh, like smoky and earthy. The aioli creates like a blanket over your tongue protecting you from the Serrano spice. It's so good. It's quick, literally five minutes. This takes five minutes to make. It's delicious, it's impressive. If you have a spicy tongue like me, this dish is for you. My eyes are getting a little watery, Ah, but I love it. If you're like, oh, I can't handle spice, it hurts. That's the point. <laughs> yes, it hurts. Yum. <laughs> it's so good. Guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for trying something new. If you don't have these ingredients, <coughs> ooh, a little water. If you're like, mm, this sounds interesting, but I don't handle spice well, use a different pepper. Instead of Serrano, use Shishido. It is farther down on the Scoville scale. I love you. Thank you for being here this far. <laughs> wow, I'm so excited. I'm going on a little vacation soon. I cannot wait to show you what I'm up to because we have some cool stuff planned. My loves, if you haven't already, please go down and roast that like button, hit subscribe, tap on that notification bell. As always, my name is Yanni and thank you for watching Flambe. Hi y'all, welcome to Flambe. My name is Yanni. Today we're gonna be making blistered shishito peppers. No, we're not. That's not what we're making. Can't do that again. <laughs>